What's up? Wayne Brown here with darkfakes.net and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we're going to be creating the following. As you can see, our animation comes in from our left, hits the center, continues to move a little bit before shooting off to the right. And I got this right here from the following. The Microsoft Visual Studio installation, which I thought was pretty cool. How it comes in, moves, and then shoots off to the right. I just thought that was pretty cool, so I decided to jump inside of Adobe Edge and see if I couldn't create it, and it was rather simple. So I thought maybe I'd do a lesson on it, just in case anybody else wanted to add something like this to the website. And this can be used for anything. I mean, the loading of a website, the why the page is, is loading in the background, you can have this animation run. I mean, it's all sorts of useful things that can be used for something like this right here. Let's go ahead and get started. That'll be Control N, Command N on a Mac, and we want to come over here to our lips. And let's come over here to center, drag it out. Let's change this to four and four. Let's come over here to our color and let's give it a a brighter color about right there. Sounds good. So now let's come down here. Control C, commands here on the Mac. Control B, four, um, three, four, five. You want five of them. So that's one, two three, four, and five. Okay, grab a hold of our first one, come over here to our X and move it over. Same thing. I'm gonna move each one of these guys off from our stage. And the way the color is, it's really hard to see it. So, now let's choose the fifth one. Let's come over here. And let's drag it out to about up in there. And now let's drag it into the center. Drag this one out. Choose the fourth one. Drag it out. The fifth, I mean the third one. The second one. And then our number one. Okay, and then it should look like this. So whenever it runs, it's going to look like so. Okay, now let's come over here. And let's double click. And let's drag out to there. And choose our fifth one. And we're going to add 20 to each one of our X numbers. So this 218 is going to become 238. And this one is going to be 227. Whoa. Okay, and number 3 is going to be 216. And our number 2 is going to be... 207 and our number one is going to be 197 so basically it will look like this see as it continues to move pretty cool huh okay now let's grab a hold of these and drag these out just a little bit so that the animation can continue and move these over so that they touch we have a longer animation there. Okay, now double click, drag out, and then we want to go to number five, drag it out to the side, number four, same thing, just continue to drag each one of these out. It's really hard to see it. Okay, and now let's come over and drag each one of these out just a little bit. And then come out and drag these to there. And same thing as before. Make sure that these are connected. That way our animation is solid. And then we got something like this. 
Okay, let's come over here to our stage and add, change our background to a very dark gray. And then that just sells the effect a whole lot better. So, okay, I mean, this, like I said, I mean, you can use this as a page load inside of a jQuery or Ajax page. You can have this running. And uh, so, I mean, it's pretty sweet. So, uh, all right, Wayne Barron here with darkeffects.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.